24-7. Eugene police ready to respond. The police department also constantly tracking trends both locally and nationally. Trends like gun control, marijuana legalization, also looking at technology to fight crime. Joining us live right now in studio, police chief Pete Kearns, thanks so much for waking up early. You're welcome. We're talking about gun control. What are the issues that you feel or maybe what people are coming to you and their concerns about gun control, yeah. especially when we had that recent shooting in Springfield. I mean, self, uh, you know, acting out of self-defense. What are the issues that you're hearing? Well, there's been a number of notable uh, firearms involved incidents in the last year or so. The most, the one that probably got the most attention was uh, the tragedy at Sandy Hook uh, Elementary School. And following that incident, uh, we've watched legislatures around the country and have seen that there's been about 1,500 bills introduced to either restrict guns or loosen gun uh, control uh, in uh, different states. And some of those create significant expenses for communities. Some of those uh, create greater hazards. Some of them create greater safety. Uh, of the 1,500 bills, there's been about 107 that have passed, and uh, 39 of those or so uh, have uh, further restricted gun laws and uh, the remainder have loosened them for people. How has it changed here locally? How have those gun laws, has anything affected our area immediately? Well, not yet, but uh, we have a legislative session that's about to begin right. and uh, during that I'm sure some gun legislation will be introduced. Okay, let's talk about marijuana because we do know at the Oregon legislature that is going to be in the agenda, a push to make it legal. Mm -hmm. um, how is this going to affect your team? Well, 2013 uh, in the United States was sort of a year for marijuana. There's about 20 states in, in our country that allow medical marijuana, and uh, in that narrow way, it's uh, lawful. And of course, this last year, Colorado and Washington right. uh, have legalized recreational use of marijuana. So the, the largest problem for those who are in the marijuana business uh, is that they don't have a place to lawfully put their money. Banks are governed by uh, federal law, which still considers marijuana to be an unlawful uh, Schedule One controlled substance. Banks don't want to aid and abet an unlawful activity, and so they're reluctant to take the cash that's right. handled. So there's a security issue. Uh, Oregon uh, this year allows medical marijuana dispensaries Many communities around the state are trying to find ways to make those dispensaries unlawful there. Uh, and uh, the, the state of Oregon is accepting applications uh, in March for people that want to open dispensaries in communities like ours. More for you to have to consider. That's right. Right. Technology. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to one more quick subject matter. It's not quick because there's a lot of technology. How are you seeing technology in crime fighting? Well, the uh, Congress uh, has asked uh, the Federal Aviation Administration to loosen uh, the regulations that limit the use of uh, drones in uh, domestic law enforcement and uh, for uh, firefighting operations. So I think we're, the United States is likely to see more use of drones. There will be some concern about privacy rights and civil liberties. So those states that permit them, uh, particularly for law enforcement, will probably also uh, establish laws that limit their use. And police departments like ours, if we choose to use drones, will have to have a, a very specific policies that give guidelines to officers in their use. But you can see how they can be so beneficial, especially in a SWAT situation, rather than sending in a person, mm -hmm. an officer, send in a drone to assess the situation, get a bird's eye view. Yeah, there's, that's right. There are a lot of emerging situations where a drone could be very useful. And then the other uh, technology that's becoming very common in the United States right now is the use of body-worn cameras. In-car video uh, systems have been in cars for 20 or 30 years, but uh, body-worn cameras are new, and some studies, at least one study uh, by Cambridge University showed that there is an 88% um, reduction in complaints against officers and a 60% reduction in use of force because people who, believing that people who know that they're uh, being videotaped are less likely to be aggressive and violent, more likely right. to tell the truth later when they know that there's a video of the Just incident. talking to you, bing, 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 I'm thinking stories and how we could really do a full story on each one of these mm -hmm. subjects. And here, we, we need to get together again. That's for certain. Thanks so much for Glad stopping to. by this morning. Let's check in right now with meteorologist Melissa Fry.